also talk about how the developments have ultimately uh, led to high pitch criticism coming America's way. Uh, the American global reputation and its uh, geopolitical value going up in flames after facing uh, the anger, the shame, the American leaders, strategists and politicians are raging against each other in a bitter blame game. Back in January, the U.S. President Joe Biden proudly proclaimed America is back on the world stage after taking over the White House. Now, in less than five months, chaos and confusion gripping his presidency as Joe Biden sits at Camp David watching Afghanistan fall apart. These images were shared by the official Twitter account of the White House. The U.S. president held virtual meetings with members of his national security team, diplomats and intelligence experts. The White House statement says, and I'm quoting, those in power and authority across the country bear responsibility and accountability for the protection of human life and property and for the immediate restoration of security and civil order. The Afghan people deserve to live in safety, security and dignity. We in the international community stand ready to assist them. Afghanistan is far from safety and stability, to say the least, far from what Biden had promised. The American embassy lies abandoned, no flags, staff or diplomats. The only thing we can see are images, images of American diplomats fleeing the U.S. Embassy via helicopters. American choppers carrying out shuttle runs between the U.S. Embassy and the Kabul airport. These images are eerily similar to the fall of Saigon in North Vietnam in 1975. Social media was quick to spot a deja vu moment for the entire world. When the U.S. had suffered a humiliating defeat in Vietnam, just like in Kabul today, and America had to scramble to evacuate its citizens from Saigon. Perhaps the most damning moment for Joe Biden being his own words at a White House news conference. On the 8th of July, Biden explicitly declared that there would be no parallels between the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan and the fall of Saigon. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. Former president of the U.S. Donald Trump has once again lambasted Joe Biden. Trump has called for Biden's resignation. He has said, and I'm quoting, it is time for Joe Biden to step down in disgrace for what he has allowed to happen to Afghanistan. He has called Biden's move legendary and said that the decision will go down in history as America's greatest defeat, one of America's greatest defeats. It is also important to note that the decision to withdraw American troops from Afghanistan was taken by Biden's predecessor himself. The 45th president of America, Donald Trump, was the one who approved the peace agreement with the Taliban in his final days in office. I spoke to the leader of the Taliban today. We had a good conversation. Eventually, countries have to take care of themselves. We can't be there for the next uh, another 20 years. We've been there for 20 years. And we've been protecting the country, but we can't be there for the next. Eventually, they're going to have to protect themselves, you know. However, it is the execution of the withdrawal policy that is under assault, a particular failure that happened under a president who has boasted himself as being a seasoned politician with over 50 years of experience. Susan Tehrani has been with us, getting us more details from New York. Uh, Susan, uh, the way things stand at this point, the U.S. has conveniently tried to deflect the blame, blaming the Afghan forces for being unable to keep the Taliban at bay. Give us a sense of the reactions emerging over the last few hours in the United States. Well, first of all, U.S. President Joe Biden has finally decided to address the nation, uh, which uh, which was, you know, his silence was basically deafening, and he started to face criticism from both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats alike, considering the fact that he was vice president for eight years, and before that he was a seasoned politician, as you mentioned. He was on the uh, Foreign um, Relations Committee in the Senate, and really... Um, 
was was a supporter of t bringing troops to Afghanistan, as as was as were many in the United States. The question was never whether or not to go to Afghanistan after 9/11, but it's the strategy of pulling out U.S. troops, which each president has done ever since 9/11, has really promised to bring U.S. troops home. But the strategy that the Biden administration perhaps undertook um, was led to the disaster that we're seeing right now, and I think that's those are. That's where the American public right now needs answers, not just those that, um, you know, have stakes in the war. Not only the families of veterans, but also the American public. And also, this is a, this is really at this point a public opinion issue for Joe Biden and his administration with the upcoming 2020 midterm, uh, 2022 midterm elections coming up, and also. Um, you know, domestic issues as well. So it's it's really to his benefit to have to have this address. Uh, it's long overdue, and we have to see really uh, what course he takes because um, it's not only the United States, but it's Americans' allies, it's Americans' adversaries. The world is going to be watching what Joe Biden has to say uh, today, this afternoon. Indeed, he does have a lot to explain. Uh, Susan, uh, let's just talk about the optics of it all. Even if the U.S. is unwilling to change course at this point and stick to its uh, decision uh, to complete that withdrawal and evacuate its personnel, Joe Biden being in Camp David, uh, that's an image that uh, has only made matters worse, uh, it seems, for the American president. It has really. It's it's really been a PR failure on the part of the Biden administration. Really, the optics, as you mentioned, coming out. You know, him sitting behind a desk uh, alone compared to uh, what we had been seeing from previous administrations. You know, all of that is one side. Uh, public opinion is very important when it comes to issues like this, and we're seeing how the media is playing out. So I think the speech is really going to be important, um, uh, and we'll see. You know, we'll see which direction it takes. It, it, will it? move the situation forward or will it also be another stepping stone to another disastrous failed policy that this administration has really decided to take um, when it comes to Afghanistan one after the other. Susan Tehrani, thanks very much for those updates. As of now, we're leaving it there for the moment. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.